discovering the icy, majestic wilderness of Europe's far north. Finland, Sweden and Norway are at the heart of a sustainable tourist project called Visit Arctic Europe. This group of sightseers are near the Arctic Circle. They have travelled for around an hour on snowmobiles to experience traditional fishing on a frozen lake. Kevin's family has been preparing for this trip for years. It's my first time here and actually what attracted me was the wide open spaces and the beauty of the landscape, especially the beautiful walks and things like that. For example, we're all ice fishing. I haven't caught anything yet, but I'm sure I will. The project brings various players in the region's tourism sector, like Maya's reindeer farm, together. She is Sami. For her, it is vital visitors understand her Nordic indigenous people's way of life. We have our own language. It's spoken by 500 people. We are a very small minority. And these colors show that an Inari Sami. In our culture, it's uh, very important to respect the nature. So I think it's important to share it uh, for people and show that we exist. We are the only native people in our European Union area. Since 2015, Visit Arctic Europe has brought together 120 companies and a dozen tour operators. Almost 99,000 people have visited the region. The project has a total budget of nearly 30 million euros, supported by the European programme Interignored in Finland, Sweden and Norway. Its mission is to make the Arctic a competitive and sustainable all-year-round tourist destination. Santa Claus's official home is here in Finland, another must-see location on the itinerary. He welcomes visitors from all over the world and had this message. I think these, these few years have been very hard for the children. I hope the children, they, they open their eyes for the world and they are asking many questions from the adults and hopefully they get the answers too. The Arctic's ecosystem is a fragile one. In that sense, combining tourism and sustainability is no easy feat, but each company involved in the project is asked to take action. For example, the engines in these snowmobiles are less polluting than standard ones.